My Intel 13900K is finally biting the bullet. Mike here with Tectonic Systems. Welcome back to the channel. I finally got hit by the severe degradation of my Intel 13900K. So last year, the whole microcode BIOS debacle surfaced and I'd been running my 13900K for most of 2023 and all of 2024. With the microcode fix coming out in September, my CPU was getting blasted by all that improper voltage settings for over a full year straight. Not to mention, I purchased my Intel 13900K in December of 2022, so that was also during the oxidation issues that were discovered during manufacturing. So this also could have played a part in my CPU degradation. When I started seeing information about this microcode and the CPU degradation, I knew it was only a matter of time until these issues reared its ugly head for me and boy did it ever. I started experiencing more and more frequent soft crashes while playing games. And at the time I was mostly playing Baldur's Gate 3 and Larian had recently updated Baldur's Gate 3. So I wanted to see if that was possibly the issue versus my CPU. However, as time went on, crashes continued to happen. Larian didn't release any statements or any hot fixes addressing the situation. I didn't really see too many other people discussing the problem on the internet. But as time went on, I started getting soft crashes in other games and then the crashes started to progress to blue screen of deaths or B sods. It took a little while for these issues to show up for me in my Intel 13900K and I took a little bit of time to verify what I was seeing was the infamous issues with the 13th and 14th gen CPUs. So the steps that I took to most likely point to the CPU degradation was I ran Memtest 86 to ensure my RAM was okay. Then I went and set that RAM to no XMP. So it's just running at the default DDR5 speed. That way the RAM can be ruled out as an issue. From there, I started playing a bunch of different games, lowering settings, seeing how often crashes occurred. And if they did, they, they did. And I even reverted back to DirectX 11 where available. And I also used Vulkan where available. That way I could isolate either DirectX 12, possible DirectX 11, or maybe a Vulkan issue, but it crashed on all three of those as well. By utilizing the different DirectX versions and Vulkan, I ruled out that it was those APIs causing any type of issue. My GPU also is updated to the latest driver. So that should not be causing issues either. Nothing changed and the crashes continued to get worse, including more and more BSODs. So for everyone out there not sure if your CPU, 13th or 14th gen Intel CPUs, are going to be hit by this issue, look out for these signs. If you're seeing instability in previously stable tasks, and this could be anything from browsing the internet to gaming to writing code in Visual Studio or editing videos or pictures. If you start to see instability and soft crashes where it crashes out of the application to the desktop or even B sods, I would say that you're probably starting to experience degradation of your CPU and it's only going to get worse. Those are your telltale signs during everyday activities nothing super stressful even that if you have instability it's going to cause issues i even started having issues with obs studio and in everyday use i'm starting to see slight freezes in my system as i can tell that the cpu seems to be lagging behind and that's just not something that has happened before i even reinstalled my operating system to see i have a fresh os and i'm still getting those little micro freezes so I know that something is just really going wrong inside of the CPU. This, this should not be happening on a system like this. So that is how I have determined that it is my CPU. So I'm currently in the RMA process with Intel and I plan on making a video on the resolution of the process, how the process went and what you can expect if your CPU is also going bad and what experience I had with Intel. So hopefully you might have the same one 
if it turns out good and hopefully you don't have the same one if it doesn't turn out good. It's not all bad though with my CPU dying. I do have some good plans for the channel this year. I'm super excited to put together the content and take you all along for the ride. So be on the lookout for a video covering what I'm hoping to accomplish this year with the channel. But that's all the time I have for today's video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.